are faithful, Lord, from the ages old. That is why I love you, to praise and the Lord. You are faithful. You are faithful, Lord. Sing to the Lord.
a family that we are going to receive this morning uh, before the Lord, uh, the family of Mr. Charles and Mary. I'm going to request you to come to the front together uh, with the family that brought you in, uh, the family of the, the Jeroges. So let's put our hands together as we receive this family in the house of the Lord. These are people who have made up the Yamai that they have said, we want to join this mountain and we want to be worshiping here. And we have picked this as our mountain of worship. Uh, we can do better. Let us appreciate these people as they come. Amen. 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 Just step up. Come all the way 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 up. Hallelujah. And they are coming with the yabado of joy, this little young man who is ready to rise up and grow and serve the Lord. Amen. Amen. Ah. Uh, Amen. If our sister, you can come closer to your husband. Mary, if you come, can come closer to your husband. Hallelujah. What a beautiful thing. Amen. Mary is the sister uh, to Sarah. So they are the Jeroges family. They are the extended Jeroges family. And I believe that's mom, right? Oh, that's Charles' mom. Hallelujah. Could you appreciate mom here? Even how she came to witness as her family is received here in Sita. Christ is the answer church. And our prayer as a church is when you join with us, you make Christ be your answer. You make Christ be your answer. It's not only a fancy name we have. Christ is the answer church. Christ is our answer as a church. If you come seeking answers from us, Mary and Charles, you are not going to find answers from us. We seek our answers from the mountain. Amen? We cry the mountain ourselves. And uh, a person of the mountain is our, a powerful person. A family that stays on the mountain of the Lord becomes a very powerful family. Praise the name of the Lord. And as a church, we believe in families. We support families. We encourage families. We stand with the families. And we support you uh, to know God and to walk with God and to serve the purpose of your life. And also we demand it from you as members. And we don't like calling our people members. We like calling them disciples. Amen? As disciples, it is demanded of you. You also follow Christ. Not only you, Charles and your wife, Mary. But these little children that God is giving you, these young men, because they are going to grow and become great people, we, it is so, so demanded of you. You teach them the ways of the Lord. You pray with them. You teach them the word of God. Because you are the greatest mentor that the Lord has given for these young people. Amen? So, Charles and Mary, as we receive you, we are telling you who Christ is the answer church. We are our pastor. And we want you to come and join us. And we come as disciples together with us. Number one, to disciple our family. Number two, to disciple the people. And you'll be accountable to us. And we are going to be accountable to you. Amen. One thing we promise is that we are going to support you. The other thing we will demand of you is that you support us as we support you. And how do you support us? Obeying the word of the Lord. Because that is our Yeah. Some of them I've not introduced them, but they are good, good friends of mine. I see Bishop Omondi here, and them, and Mom. If you can come to the front with us, join with us. Bishop Jonah Obonyo, join with us. Uh, Pastor Lucy, join with us. Uh, Pastor David, join with us. As we commit these people in the hands of the Lord. Amen. 
We are going to pray that to them and welcome them to the house and to the family of God. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. I request the church uh, to lift up your hands, to stand up and lift your hands uh, towards this family. And you're not only lifting the hands, I want you to lift your hands in prayer. You are speaking and you are telling God something about this family of Mr. Charles, that they are going to serve the Lord, they are going to walk right with the Lord, and even the young one, what's the name of this young man? Austin. That even this Mr. Austin, amen, like the father of Joel Austin. Hallelujah. He will grow up and rise up to serve the Lord. Today we are not dedicating him to God, but we are praying for him that he will grow in the way. We will do a dedication, a proper dedication. But today we are receiving the family. Amen. So we have got Mr. Austin, we have got Mr. Charles, and we have got our sister Mary. We are all committing them in the hands of the Lord, and we are receiving them before the Lord. Amen. Amen. Bishop, can you lead us in this prayer? Amen. Mr. Omondi, I said we'd be left a little bit behind. Amen. Because I want uh, you to greet the church very briefly because of time. And uh, the Lord will do you good. Greetings in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, everyone. I'm Okelo, Bishop Okelo, not Omondi. Omondi is my son, Joel. And would you rise up, Joel and Caroline, please? Those are our children, our first children. And um, we have been members of this church. And uh, um, we left them here. There is no any other place that we would leave them apart from this church. And, uh, they went... Uh, we were here four years ago, and uh, they moved to, South, uh, to North Carolina. But thank God, because you have a wonderful pastor who kept on following them with the phone every time. They told me, pastor has called, pastor has called. And uh, through that, they came back to Boston. And uh, God has uh, uh, made it possible for us to come and join them. We came here two weeks ago. We flew into North Carolina by the way, I'm a missionary with uh, Equip International. And uh, so when we came back, we thought of, uh, okay, there were so many places that we would have gone to. But we thought of coming to celebrate uh, our children here because God has done a miracle in their lives. And I want to say our other child who is also in uh, uh, Hawaii is coming back uh, to Boston tomorrow. So God is wonderful uh, to uh, help have, uh, have us uh, join our families together. And we are so very much grateful to be here. I don't want to spend much time. Just uh, one month ago, four weeks ago, a friend of mine took us to Nyeri. And uh, he spoke about a man of God called John Obonyo. He is a member of John Obonyo's church. And he said, Jonah is a wonderful person. And he preaches until fire comes up and falls down. And so such a person is in this house. And I don't want to take much time to say anything. Uh, I just want to say thank you very much. And may God bless you, my friend. Uh, we love you and we cherish you. And we are... Uh, uh, oh, I can see Mama there also. The Nundans family, can you rise up, please? <laughs> yeah. We are, it's wonderful. Actually, God has joined us, the Okelos family and Dunda's family, we are one. And so we really appreciate and thank God. I know I will not take much time. This is Mama Emily Okelo. She's uh, uh, Joe Okelo's mother. And uh, God has helped us. And we have six children. And where we have put these children is in the church, not any other place. So God bless you and keep you and, uh, until we meet again. May God abundantly bless you, Pastor Ashira. And uh, I also want to extend my invitation that when you come to Kenya, please come uh, to Migori and, uh, and, and, and see us. Uh, our church is called Lifeline Christian International. And uh, we are serving the Lord uh, 
uh, the way we have seen you serve the Lord mightily. God bless you so much.